in the stupid cool geometry question, we've got this right triangle ABC, and this angle A is 30 degrees, and this inscribed blue circle's area is 3 pi, and we've also got this yellow X circle, and we need to find its area. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let this point 01 be the center of the blue in circle, and let's draw these two radii like this, and we'll call them R. We don't know what R is, but we know the area of the blue circle is 3 pi, so it shouldn't be a big deal to conclude that R is the square root of 3. So let's change these R's to root 3. And these two angles are right angles, because they are at the points of tangency. And we can put this straight line here that goes from the center of the in circle to point A. Now these two triangles are congruent, because these sides are both root 3. And these two sides are also equal, because if two tangents of a circle come from the same point, then they must be equal. And these two tangents both start at point A. And finally, this side is common to both triangles. Now that we've established these two triangles as congruent, it becomes clear that this 30 degree angle is divided into two 15 degree angles like this. And what I just proved is actually a property of in circles, according to which the angle bisectors of any triangle must pass through the center of the inscribed circle. I simply wanted to show why it is like that. Going back to our 15 degree angles, it would be cool to know what tangent 15 is, because then we could find this side for instance. But most people don't know tangent 15, right? Now I'm going to show you a really cool way to find tangent 15, using this right triangle. Let's say this angle is 30 degrees, and everybody knows that sine 30 is 1 over 2. So if we assume this hypotenuse to be 2, then this side must be 1. And it is also well known that cosine 30 is root 3 over 2, which means this side over here has to be root 3. Next, we put this angle bisector in here, dividing this 30 degree angle into two 15 degree angles. And if we call this distance k, this next distance naturally becomes 1 minus k. Now, according to the angle bisector theorem, the proportion of these two sides must be equal to the proportion of these two line segments. And we can put it as an equation like this. I'll do all the math for you, and it turns out k is this ugly expression, which I will put down here where it belongs. And now we can take these two side lengths and arrange them into this fraction to get tangent 15, which turns out to be 1 over the quantity 2 plus root 3. Now let's go back to our original diagram, and we'll call this green distance down here x. And if we take these two sides and divide them like this, the fraction we get equals tangent 15. And of course we know the value of tangent 15, which we plug in here. And we do the math, and it turns out x equals 2 times the square root of 3 plus 3. And we replace this x with that value. Alright, now let's draw this radius here for the blue circle. And we know it's root 3. And by the way, we don't need this other radius anymore, so let's delete it. Now, this angle here must be a right angle, because this is where the radius meets the tangent line. And thus we can conclude that this is a square, and this side is radical 3, 2. Now, let this point O2 be the center of the yellow X circle. And let's put these two radii here, and we'll call them capital R. These two angles are right angles, because they are at the points of tangency. And this angle is also 90 degrees, because it's next to another 90 degree angle. It's now clear that these two line segments are parallel. That means we can take this distance capital R and project it down here. Now there's a property of triangles that I need to show you. That is, when you have an angle bisector in a triangle, you can extend it like this, and it always crosses the X circle's center. And that's basically what we have in this yellow X circle. We've got this angle bisector here, and we can extend it to the center of the yellow X circle. And we get this super cool right triangle. And you know what? It's got this 15 degree angle. And that means we can divide this distance R by this entire distance down here. And that will basically give us tangent 15. Let's write that down as an equation like this. We already know what tangent 15 is, so let's just replace this with that value. We do the math and voila, 
capital R equals 3. And for the final step, I'll require the assistance of a great math expert, my son. Okay, son, can you find the area of the yellow circle? Sure! The area of a circle equals pi times r squared, and we want the area of our circle. And its radius is 3. The square of 3 is 9, and we multiply 9 by pi. We get 9 pi. I found it, Dad! Thanks a lot, son. So there we are, people. We found the area of the yellow x circle, and it's 9 pi. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.